so today our topic is virology so here we see the first part of the general virology where we will read generally about uh, the general overview of the viruses so viruses are the in obligate intracellular organisms which can live only inside the cells but outside the cell they are present as a non-living particles and uh, the so uh, and they possess some of the differences with the bacteria which one should must know so the basic differences between the viruses and the bacteria are that the viruses are obligate intracellular but bacteria are not the viruses do not possess the cellular organelles but the bacteria have the cellular organelles viruses either have dna or rna but bacteria have always both the viruses do not have the cell membrane or the cell wall but the bacteria have do possess those cell walls and cell membrane the bacteria can be filtered by the bacterial filters but the viruses easily pass through the bacterial filters because they have smaller sizes and also these viruses cannot be cultured on the artificial culture medium but the viruses can be but the sorry but the bacteria can be grown on the artificial culture media not the viruses now next topic comes is the morphology of the viruses so the almost all of the viruses possess a basic morphology so here we will see, see a overview of the morphology of the viruses so viruses have different structures like the first thing is the nucleic acid is the nucleic acid the nucleic acid is present at the center of the viruses that nucleic acid is either dna or rna never both like in the bacteria we see both dna and rna but in case of viruses we see either dna or rna but never both the second structure that we see in viruses is the capsid okay is the capsid capsid is nothing but a structure that has that is formed as surrounding the nucleic acid and which surrounds the nucleic acid and is made up of smaller subunits which are called as the capsomeres this nucleic acid and the capsids are together called as the nucleocapsid now coming to the symmetry symmetry is not a you know a, is not a part which is forming the viral structure rather this is just the arrangement of the capsomeres surrounding the nucleic acid so this specific arrangement of the capsomeres surrounding the a uh, nucleic acid that gives a specific specific symmetry to the virus and this symmetry may be of three types icosahedral symmetry helical symmetry or the complex symmetry here the point to remember is that the complex symmetry is only found in case of the pox virus so this is a very important question as well complex symmetry is found only in case of the pox virus other than that we have the icosahedral symmetry and the helical symmetry of which the icosahedral symmetry is the most common symmetry that we see in case of viruses the next structure that we see in viruses is envelope but the point to note here is that the envelope is not present in all the viruses some viruses do possess this envelope which are called as the enveloped viruses and some do not possess the envelope which are called as non enveloped viruses now the viruses which are possessing this envelope in those the envelope is made up of lipoproteinous structure the envelope is a lipoproteinous structure which is having a bilipid bilayer of lipid and some proteins embedded in that lipid bilayer so it is lipoproteinous in nature of uh, and it is surrounding the nucleocapsid this lipid part is derived from the host cell membrane is derived from the host cell membrane while the protein part is virus coded okay the protein part which is embedded in in that lipid bilayer is coded by the virus itself but the envelope but the lipid bilayer that is present which uh, uh, that is uh, you know that is derived from the host cell membrane when the virus uh, gets released from the host cell by the process of budding and these proteins which are embedded in that is are called as the peplomas now we see the structure general structure of a virus how does a virus looks so
this is the general structure of the viruses where we see where we see capsid nucleic acid and these are together called as nucleocapsid and the envelope is surrounding the nucleic acid see here the envelope is surrounding the nucleocapsid okay and this envelope is made up of the lipid bilayer and the peplomers okay so this is all about the morphology of the viruses in a nutshell now we will see the viral replication now uh, the next topic is viral replication see here this is a short mnemonic to remember the steps of the viral replication a pub mr that means a mr in a pub simply so the first a a little means attachment attachment is the first step in the case of viral replication what happens in that attachment in attachment the virus simply attaches to the some kind of receptors over the host cell like in case of hiv you see the gp160 which is over there the virus uh, virus envelope they bind to the these gp160 bind to the cd4 receptors of the t cells so that is the process of attachment next step comes the penetration what does that penetration means the penetration of the virus means the entry of the virus inside the host cell that entry is that entry occurs by either the process of membrane fusion or by viropexis but this membrane entry via this membrane fusion occurs only in case of the enveloped viruses while this entry via the process of viropexis occurs by the process uh, occurs only in case of the non enveloped viruses okay so by membrane fusion the in lipid bilayer of the virus just simply you know attaches fuses with the host cell membrane and the nucleic acid gets entry inside the host cell cytoplasm while viropexis is a process that is similar to the phagocytosis the, there is no envelope only nucleic acid is present there so that nucleic acid is taken inside the host cell by the process of vir viropexis the next step is the uncoding now the nucleic acid has entered inside the host cell cytoplasm so now the process to uh, continue the nucleic acid has must to come out inside the cytoplasm of the host cell and that can only occur if the capsid is removed so that uh, removal of that capsid uh, of the nucleic acid is called as the uncoating so the viral capsid is separated viral capsid is separated and the nucleic acid is released in the cytoplasm this process is called as uncoating the next step is the biosynthesis in biosynthesis you know different kinds of structures of the virus will be formed inside the host cell what are those structures which will be formed those include the nucleic acid the nucleic acid of the virus will be synthesized will be replicated or will be transcripted okay other than that the capsid proteins will be synthesized and the enzymes of the virus will also be synthesized these structures will be synthesized in the biosynthesis step in the biosynthesis step now the next step is the maturation the next step is the the next step is the maturation stage okay the next step is the maturation in which these every components that has been synthesized in the biosynthesis stage they will be they will be assembled they will be assembled to form the mature virus and once they are they have formed the mature virus there will be release of these viruses and that release of the virus occurs by two processes either by lysis of the cell or by budding of the cells the lysis occurs in case of the non enveloped viruses where there is no envelope while release by budding occurs in only in case of the enveloped virus now there are certain special shapes of the viruses what are those there are the bullet cell which are found only in case of the rabies virus the space vehicle cell which are seen in case of adenovirus brick shaped which are seen in the pox virus lamenta shaped which are seen in ebola virus and wheel shaped is seen in the rotavirus these are some of the special cells which should must be remembered